Hey, that's me, Parag. I've always dreamt of meeting my angel. And this is the story of how it happened. Well, kind of. Hey Parag, stop daydreaming. What are you thinking about? My angel. Listen man, we don't have time for that now. Let's hit the bar. It's the end of the day. Oh, you still serving food? Yeah. Let's get a bowl of chips, please. Yeah, of course. Um, can I get four sellers, please? Yeah, no. Problem. What's with you, man? You're always eating. It's not some food in my trip. So, Parag, done your degree? You're a pharmacist now. I deal catch with the ladies. You must have a list of parents wanting their daughter to marry you. So, uh, when are you going to settle down and uh, get married? No less, man. I'm going to find my angel myself. She'll be beautiful, sweet, caring and kind, just like I've always dreamt. I love to parag. <laughs> it's no joke, man. My angel is out there and I will find her. I'm it. Guess what? I've just seen my angel. Right, get the guys together. We're going to meet down the pub. I've got to see that girl again, man. She's the angel of my dreams. What are you going to do? Go to with a dodgy pair of glasses? And say, should have went to Specsavers? <laughs> no, mate. She works at David Cluedo, not Specsavers, you idiot. Just go in there, be yourself, use your charm, and get her number. No, no, no. You guys are thinking about it all wrong. What do you mean? Look, if he just goes in there as a customer, um, he can't get any one-on-one -on -one time. What he needs to do is get go in there, make an appointment for an eye test, uh, and then he'll have at least 20 minutes with her. And then that's her first date done. Oh, I see. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm here to see the optometrist. Yeah, Mr. Shaw. Would you like to come through? If you'd like to come in and take a seat, Dr. Mr. Rui, shortly. Thank you. Mr. Shaw. Hi. I'm Hitesh. I'm going to be optometrist today. Uh, hi. What happened to the other girl? Oh, Roshna, she's busy with another customer for I'm afraid, but I'll look after you, don't worry. Just like to come and take a seat. We'll get started. I think he was hoping that you were going to do his test. Mm -hmm. I thought that too. I saw your smile as you, as you walked past. Could he be your Prince Charming? Shut up. Showing that patient had to call though, but he was kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Right guys, so as you're all aware, Alex's plan didn't work out. So a guy called Hitesh took the test. So I'm going to have to get in there and make sure I get the test with my angel. As you're all aware, there are lots of distractions and lots of customers. So I've come up with a new plan. We're going to have to take this guy called Hitesh out from the opticians. You mean take him out to dinner? No, you idiot. He means take him out. What the hell? No, you fools. I mean, take him out of the equation. Here are photos of our target leaving his home, courtesy of our man, Mike. Right, so I need you guys to stop him from getting to work on the day of my next appointment. Mm. Okay, man. 
Who are they? No, you idiot. You guys can't be strapping any opticians. It's too risky. I don't want to go in that room with him again. <sighs> you mean kidnap him? How are we going to do that? We're not some crazy South London gangsters with guns, you know. I'm not saying hurt him. Just keep him occupied and delay him from getting to work. I'm sure you guys can think of something. If he gets nasty, use this on your coat. Mick, how come you're always eating? I'm not always eating. It's just you see me whenever I'm eating. Yeah, but we see it at different times of the day and you're always eating. Mm, guess you guys just make me hungry. Sounds a bit wrong. Oh, there he is. Go get him. Get in the car, you get a bullet. Get in, get in. Go, go, go! What the hell type of bag is that? Where can you get a proper bag? I'm not a professional kidnapper. It's my food bag. You know what? We're boxed in. Oh, we'll just have to stay here. Hi, I'm here for an upcoming appointment. What's your surname, please? Uh, the name's Mr. Shah. Mr. Shah? Parag? That's right. Mr. Shah, why were you here yesterday? Uh, yeah, I was, but the guy I think I'd want. Okay, um. Don't mind waiting a few minutes, just have a seat on that light chair for me. Thank you. Hey Bush, isn't it that guy, Mr. Sharp, from the other day, Siobhan was talking to you about? Yeah. Mr. Sharp, I do what to do too. Can you see? Do you want to take a seat, Mr. Shah? Thank you. Hi, Mr. Shah. My name is Rishna. I'm going to be testing your eyes for you today. Thank you. I'm really sorry about the wait. It's been really hectic today. I don't know why, but the other optometrists didn't show up for work. Um, I just hope he's okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Oh, man, I'm bored. This is taking ages. Let's play a spy. A spy with my little eyes. Something beginning to see. See? How could that be? Let your touch have a go. Uh, guys. I don't know who you guys are, but um, I've got a bag on my head. How am I in a scene? Uh, Alright, admit, take the bag off, but we'll cover our faces. Um, oh my god. Um, see ya. I don't know. See for chocolate. So, Rishna, has anybody ever told you you have this elegance and grace about you? And you're really beautiful as well. Thank you very much, but remember, I haven't tested your eyes yet. Have a look straight ahead for me. What letters can you see? I see you and me dating. <laughs> All right, to be honest, I don't actually need an eye test. My eyes are fine. Uh, I don't usually do this sort of thing, but I just made an appointment to get to spend time with you and get to see you. And I was hoping to ask you out. OK, hit us. You have a go. Make it easy though, because Philip's a bit blind. Maybe I should go for an eye test. Amit, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm? uh, what are you doing? What? I'm hungry. You must like coffee. How about a coffee date? A coffee date would be nice, as long as you do excellent coffee. Hold on a minute though, how do I know you're not an axe murderer or something? Me? Nah, I'm the sweetest guy you'll ever meet. Just ask my mum. <laughs> okay, okay, here's my card. Hey, I just met you. This is crazy. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Yeah, it's hard to lose. Tu hi to manna tu meri. Tu hi
Uh, guys, I'd like to thank you for making this possible. Because of you, I found Rishna, I found my angel, and marriage is on the cards. So, as a cheers to everyone. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, mate. So, what happened after that? Well, Mike became a private detective and is taking surveillance pictures. Philip is taking lessons on how to park cars. And Amit, well, Amit signed up for Man vs Food and unfortunately got fired after the first round. As for me, well, I found my angel and I'm going to hold on to her forever. <laughs> Even if she wants, she can leave him. Um, she can't leave him for at least. <laughs> 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 she can leave him. She can leave him. I think that you wanted to test his eye, didn't you? His, his eye. <laughs> no, I think you wanted to do his hair. Oh, this is yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Name is Rishna. I'll be testing your eyes for you today. Thanks. <laughs> Ready? Okay. We've got a runner coming on. Up, man. Some people are getting cold, man. No, you didn't even kick him out. You're spaghetti. And you're always eating. This is how you guys make me feel. No. <laughs> how do you make me feel? How do you make me feel? <laughs> Not horny, I hope. You always up. What happened? <laughs> Super chocolate. Taste <laughs> <laughs> the <Save for> chocolate. <laughs> I didn't say my thing yet. Sorry. Normal chips. Normal chips, man. <laughs>